Hi guys, just built a nice fire this morning. I'm going to let that die down to coals. I'm going to cook a nice bushcraft breakfast. So it's a great morning, nice and chilly. So a nice wholesome food. Let's crack on. Uh, Becky's up with me as well, so it'll be father and daughter for breakfast. I've got the bush pot on there. Start off with a nice hot cup of coffee. Beautiful fire. Let's try and level this section out. Let's try and keep this flat and then I can drag some hot coals as I need them from the left hand side. Can't beat a nice fire when it's cold. Gorgeous. That's going to be a nice base. Put some green wood the other side just to support the grate. That's a great platform to cook on. It's going to be a nice controlled fire for a nice cook up. And left a little bit over on the right just to keep burning away so I can drag, drag fresh coals under the grate. I've bought two cooking pans with me. So I've got this, this nice one here with three separate compartments. So I'm going to load this up and uh, my little cast iron little skillet and my wooden spatula which I made in the TP series if you want to check that out. So I think I'll load this up with the bacon, sausage, tomatoes, beans and use the, the skillet for the eggs. So it's going to be a nice mighty breakfast. Nice bit of olive oil there. It's a little bit frozen because it's cold. Let's load this baby up. So we've got some smoked streaky bacon. So the pan's getting nicely loaded. Oh, Becky's gonna love this. And some nice hash browns. Oh, I fit in there a treat, look at that. A couple of sausages. And then I'm going to add my favourite ingredient, which is black pudding. So that's what we got, hash browns, bacon, black pudding, a couple of sausages, some mushrooms, and fried eggs, so I'm going to put in the other pan, and some beans, I think, to, to uh, go on as well. And maybe a couple of tomatoes. So let's, uh, let's sort this fire out and get this pan on. Let's whack the kettle on as well. Get a nice coffee on the brew. 
So as you can see the fire's burnt down lovely. Just nice nice coals now. And I'm burning a little bit of wood in this area just to keep throwing underneath the grate. So it's a great platform to cook on. And there's not a lot of flame. Just nice nice uh, ambient heat really. So the bush pot looks done to me. Nice boil, so get myself a coffee. Right, let's get this on the fire, start cooking. beauty of these stainless steel cups as well I can just leave it on the griddle there and it, it'll keep warm so I'll get my coffee stays nice and warm while I'm doing breakfast so it's all cooking really nicely not too much flame I've got the the bacon and the sausage in the hotter zone and then I can transfer things around as, as they cook. So everything's starting to brown off nicely now. I'm gonna add two more ingredients, the tomatoes and some beans, and obviously the eggs in the other pan. great thing about this frying pan keeps everything in its own section Let's take it off the heat a little bit oh that looks delicious don't it Bex? yeah huh? can't wait so in with the tomatoes just fry them off Check these hashies, see what they like underneath. Let's have a look. So I just heated that cast iron skillet up. Let's crack a couple of eggs into here. Oh, mouth's watering. Hope yours are, guys. Gonna enjoy this. So breakfast is served. Tomato mix. Yes, please. That looks so good. Hash brown. Yeah, one please. Black pudding.
mushrooms. Yeah. So that's turned out beautiful. Like I said, it's good to cook over the coals because nothing here is burnt. That's a stunning breakfast. Funny you could be here, guys. Full English breakfast cooked over a campfire for Mr. Bushwhacker Man. Done. Thanks for watching, guys. And Becky's going to sit down and eat hers now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Not had an avocado. <laughs> yeah, Becky's going for the healthy option. <laughs> She's adding an avocado. Makes all the difference. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You enjoy that? Cheers. Thanks, guys. Oh, look at these hash browns. Look at that. Oh, crispy.